Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, Soil here, and today I want to teach you how you can make a simple calculator that automatically calculates the position size based on 1% role risk management strategy. In this video, I'm using Google Sheets, but you can also make it on Microsoft Excel or Numbers in macOS, or you can even create a small application if you know how to code. It's a very handy tool for trading, and as an active trader, you need a calculator like this so you can effectively evaluate your trading decisions as fast as possible. All right, let's see how we can create a calculator like this. As I already mentioned, this calculator is based on 1% role risk management strategy, which means that after spotting a trading opportunity and finding the appropriate entry level, stop loss level, and take profit level, then we calculate the position size in a way that if the price hits the stop loss order, we only lose 1% of our trading account. I don't want to get into more details regarding this strategy because I have a complete guide on this. The link is also in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it first if you're not familiar with this risk management strategy. All right, let's begin making the calculator. Here we select two cells and by the help of this tool, we merge the cells. While the merged cells are selected, here we make the background color to, uh, let's make it green. Then we double click on the merge cell and we type long. Here by the help of this tool, we place it at center. Here we bold it. And here we make the text color to white. We repeat this one more time for short position. Here we select two cells and we merge them. We make the background color to red. In the merge cells, we type short. We place it at the center. We bold it and we make the text color white. All right, here in the left column in this row, we type balance. Next row, entry, here, SL, and here, PP. We don't type anything here in this row. And here we type max loss, here, amount to buy, and here, risk to reward. Then we select all of them, and here we align them to the right. While all of them are selected, we right click and select copy and we paste it here. These two columns must also be aligned to right. All right, let's begin with long position. Consider we have $10,000 in our trading account. So here for the balance, we enter 10,000. And also consider, for example, we are trading Bitcoin and after analyzing the market, we found out that 20,000 is a good price to buy. So here for the entry, we enter 20,000. Consider we want to set our stop loss at 19,000 and we want to take our profit at 22,000, for example. Please pay attention that in long positions, your SL is always lower than your entry price and your TP is always higher than your entry price. You can make some conditions for these cells to only accept the correct values or you can make some formats for these cells, but I don't want to explain them because this is not a tutorial for Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel and I want to make this calculator as simple as possible possible so when you're trading you must be focused on what you're doing and here for sl you enter a price which is lower than your entry price and here for tp you enter a price that is higher than your entry price otherwise the calculations will be wrong all right these are the cells that we fill every time that we are entering a trade and these cells will be calculated automatically and now we want to give them some formulas here we define the maximum loss that we we intend to take based on our balance and we want it to be only 1% of this. You can also set it to 2% and take more risk but it's better to stick with 1% rule. Alright, in this cell first we type the equal sign which is actually the starting point for giving uh, a formula to the sheet. Then we click on the cell that contains the amount of the balance which is E6 and if you pay attention you can see that it's written here automatically and it's also shown here. Then we enter star sign which acts as multiply function and then we enter 0 
0.01 and we press the enter. Here it suggested autofill, which we reject the suggestion. You can see that it turned 100, which is actually 1% of our balance. Then for the amount to buy, again, we type equal sign. Then we click on the cell that contains the maximum loss. And this is divided by parenthesis. And now we must enter loss per coin. If we buy one Bitcoin at $20,000 and then sold at SL level, which is $19,000, we lose $1,000. And this is loss per coin, which is actually entry price minus SL. So we click on the cell that contains entry price minus, and then we click on the cell that contains SL. We close it with parenthesis and we press the enter. And you can see that it turned 0.1. And this is actually the amount of Bitcoin that we must buy. So if we buy 0.1 Bitcoin at $20,000 and we set the SL at 19,000 and TP at 22,000. And if the market goes against our position and hit our SL, we only lose $100, which is actually 1% of our balance. And here we give this cell a formula to calculate the risk to reward ratio for us so we can easily evaluate our trading decisions. We enter equal sign, then parenthesis, we click on the amount amount of TP minus entry price and we close the parenthesis and this is divided by we open a parenthesis entry price minus SL we close the parenthesis and we press the enter and as you can see it turned the risk to reward ratio of this position which is two and this means we are risking hundred dollars to gain two hundred dollars reward this part is done and you can simply use this for long positions in your futures trading you don't do anything with this part because here in this part the output is shown based on the data you enter here so this is the part you work with for example you have thirty thousand dollars in your trading account and you want to buy Bitcoin at uh, 18,000 you want to set your stop loss at 16,000 and your take profit order at 21,000 and by pressing enter when the last data is entered you can see that these are automatically calculated based on the data you entered and these are very helpful when you want to enter a trade instantly and you need to take your decisions quickly all right now let's make this part of the calculator which is for short position consider we have ten thousand dollars trading account and we want to enter a short position for bitcoin at twenty thousand dollars please pay attention that in short positions sl is placed above the entry price and the profit target below the entry price because here we make profit by declining of the price consider we set the stop loss at 21,000 and take profit order at 18,000. here for the max loss similarly we enter equal sign then we click on the amount of balance multiplied by 0.01 here again it suggests that auto film which we reject suggestion and you can see that it turned hundred dollars which is one percent of our balance here for the amount to buy the formula is a little different because here the maximum loss per coin is sl minus entry so we enter equal sign then maximum loss divided by parenthesis sl price minus entry price we close the parenthesis and we press the enter and here for risk to reward ratio similarly we start with equal sign we open a parenthesis entry price minus tp we close the parenthesis and this is divided by we open a parenthesis sl minus entry we close the parenthesis and we press the enter this part is already completed and it's used for opening short positions please pay attention as i mentioned earlier we don't do anything with these parts these cells contains formulas and they only show the output and the output shown here is based on the inputs that we enter in these cells so these are the required data that we must enter and then these informations will be automatically calculated you can set some conditions on these cells for entering only the correct values or you can format these cells or lock these cells so you won't accidentally change the formulas. In this video, the focus was not teaching a spreadsheet software, so I didn't get into more details and I just wanted to show you how you can simply make a calculator for your risk management strategy so you can use it in practice for evaluating your trading decisions. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to
to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.